And also, you know, um, what advice would you give to your younger self in overcoming hurdles as well? Um, to my younger self, look, I, I s achieved what I wanted to achieve quite late. I was 25 when I made my professional debut. Right. And my colleagues, when I was um, under 20, so as a teenager, all of my colleagues who were pursuing a professional um, life in cricket, yeah. Quite a few of them achieved it a lot earlier, and 25 is quite old for a fast bowler to make his debut. Yeah. And I put that down to a few things, but if I look internally, there was a lot of opportunities that I let go by because I didn't value them at the time. Um, and I look back, I used to look back with regret, but now, I, now I'm older, I'm a bit wiser, I look back and I can reflect on the things that I can pass down to uh, youngsters in the same position. To my younger self, the first thing I would say is stop wasting time, and that comes with stop wasting opportunity. I think I wasted quite a lot of time, um, probably in my early 20s, as we all do, but if I had the chance yeah. to go back, that's the first thing I would say. And also, the second thing is keep the right company, because your company is what's going to determine your environment, your energy, yeah. your, um, your inspiration. and. Uh, you know, they say that you're an average of sort of the five friends that you have. I firmly believe that it doesn't it doesn't take a long time for you to sort of average out to the level of your company. So I would definitely tell my younger self to um, associate myself and hang around with people who will who will challenge me and who will probably where I want to be. Yeah. So find the people who are where you want to be and spend as much time as you can with them and don't waste your own time. Yeah. Try and make the most of your time. Um, structure is really important. Structure, routine, um, and also reflecting back, what have I achieved today? What have I achieved this week? What have I achieved in the last two months? Where am I now after a year? Ask yourself these questions. If they're uncomfortable to ask those questions, it usually means that you're wasting your time and you're wasting your opportunity. Yeah. So, no, yeah. yeah, just try and get into the habit of constantly challenging yourself and testing yourself and reviewing yourself and being accountable to yourself. These are really important characteristics for younger people to have if they want to make the most of the opportunities that come their way because opportunities keep coming. They yeah, keep coming, they knock, they knock on the door, and if you're not ready for it, it doesn't look like an opportunity. Yeah, as the saying goes, isn't it, when an opportunity comes knocking, go answer. Yeah. Because who knows if that particular opportunity that would benefit you, you know, fifth, you know, five, 10, 15 years down the line, and you've let it go, you think it's ever gonna come back? No chance. Yeah, and you've gotta be prepared to answer it. If, if a financial opportunity comes along and you haven't got the sort of capital to take advantage, yeah. you can't, no matter how big the opportunity is. If, if all of a sudden you get a call up to play in this game and you haven't been looking after your fitness, when that opportunity comes, you're not ready. So they say luck is when preparation meets opportunity, and I believe that as well. So people who are lucky, yes, yeah. they have the opportunity, but they were prepared as well at that point. Yeah. yeah. And it works the other way too. Some people are prepared a lot, they don't get the opportunity. Bad luck. Yeah, that's yeah, it true. Works both ways. That, that is that is absolutely true. I mean, it's like, as you mentioned before about you know the, I think that's the one advice a lot of a lot of people would say that if you ask them the same question, what would you say to your younger self? One of the first things I've heard a lot of people say is, I would say to myself not to waste any time. Mm. Especially yeah, you know when you're young, you you're full of enthusiasm, you're full of so much energy, but you're wasting all that energy. 
you just hang around with, like you say, you know, keep good company as well. And if you hang around with people who just want to waste time, sit, sit there, like say, for example, on the corner, smoke, um, do this, that, and the other, or we'll just go around your house, watch this, watch that, and it's like, what are you doing? And yeah. then when you say to them, but when you come across people who just say, okay, no, let's try something different each week. We can go try a different sport. We can try a different game. We can try, um, go to a different place. Let's try it. You never know what that could offer to you. But how do you know till you do that until you go out there and try it? You give you those type of people already given into the fear, haven't they? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. Well, one other question is, when you're out of shape, what? How? How would you look up and get yourself back on track? Because as you mentioned as well, you know, when the opportunities comes knocking, and you know, if you're out of shape to play in the game, then again, that's a wasted one, isn't it? So how, how would you do that yourself? Well, that's what I'm trying to do now. Um, <laughs> no, you, you, um, you're in good shape. Well, thanks, but I don't think I am. <laughs> um, look, if, if, if you're out of shape, you know, if, if, you're, if you're involved in a professional sport and the opportunity comes, or you're pursuing a professional sport and you're out of shape, you've only got yourself to blame. You've slipped up somewhere, you've been lazy, you've neglected the time that you've had and the opportunity you've had. So if you're in that situation and you're out of shape, then you know, you've got to look at yourself and, and just think where you've gone wrong. Uh, generally for um, anyone who is out of shape and they want to mm -hmm. get into an ideal shape or a certain level of fitness, how do they do it? Uh, look, it's the small things. Um, micro, you can micromanage the small things. So yes, you've got a target of being a certain way or to look a certain way. Um, and that's the end goal. Yes, keep that in mind, but I think you can fall into the trap of just focusing on the outcome. But it's the process which is really important. So if you want to be somewhere in six months and you've given yourself that target, break it down. If that's your six month goal, what do you have to hit in three months or four months? What do you have to hit next month? What do you have to hit in three weeks? What do you have to hit in one week? What do you have to do today? What do you have to do right now? Yeah. So you're breaking it down into things that you can manage and you can mentally digest. So it's a, it's, it's a collection of all the small things that you do. And it can seem like a mountain to climb if you want to lose that extra fat or if you want to build on that muscle or recover from that injury. Yes, when you look at it, it's a big mountain in front of you, but you know, it's, a mountain is made of what? Small pebbles. Yeah. You can, you can think of it like that. So yeah, break down your goal into smaller, more manageable goals. Sometimes don't aim so high. You want to give yourself that feedback that yes, I achieved this. Whether even if it's just waking up, even if you say to yourself, right, I want to get fitter. What's the one thing I can do? I can wake up at 7 a.m. every day. It doesn't seem like a difficult thing to do. It's one small, simple step. Yeah. But every time you do that, at 7.15 when you're up and about, you're gonna feel so good because you set out to do something and you did it. So that's a tick in your box. You wanna accustom your brain and your subconscious to achieving, even if it's small. Because an achievement, big or small, it actually does the same thing to your brain. Whether you've just, uh, let's just say, I don't know, you've um, won a game of cricket and you're the man of the match, or if you've achieved something really small, like you've got to work on time for the first time in a week, this might be a crude example, but that feeling of accomplishment is what you want, whether the goal is big or small. So back to your question, if someone is out of shape, whatever your goal is, break it down into the small targets and look to achieve those on a consistent basis. Look back in six weeks time, you would have made big strides. You would have moved forward quite a lot. Yeah. That would be my advice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, another question to ask as well is uh, how, as an athlete, you would describe the power of discipline? Without discipline, you're nothing. Yeah. Um, without discipline, you will probably uh, fold at the first obstacle or first difficulty. Um, if you want to achieve anything in life, if you want to achieve something big, you have to have discipline. Discipline is beginning to be, become a word which is thrown around. Um, you've got to be disciplined. 
uh, but we should really understand what it means. And I was actually listening to a podcast of Mike Tyson a few days ago, and he described it so eloquently as he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dis- of course. Dis- yeah, discipline is doing the things that you hate, but do them as, as you love them, as if you love them. That's yeah. good enough for me. And, um, you know, I'm, there's no shame in stealing that from Mike Tyson, but. Just be careful, he's not an outsider. <laughs> well, I wish he was. Um, it was actually his uh, customato who, who gave him that. Oh, yeah, uh, customato, the guy who'd found him and trained him. He yeah, was, yeah. He was a legend, he was. Yeah, so um, where were we? Discipline, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think, look, whatever potential you have, you, even a child, they're full of potential, aren't they? So whatever potential you have, and then you've got your goal, the journey in between, the bridge which brings them together is discipline. And whatever you commit to, if you're disciplined to it, you're going to get better at it. It's just the way it works. Yeah. Um, as an athlete, the importance of discipline, um, yeah, I don't think it can be understated. Any athlete you ask, um, you know, a top international performer yeah. or someone who's played a little bit of professional sport like myself, they'll say the same thing. Discipline is absolutely huge and it's essential to achieve 